Hey, what's going on y'all? Tania B here with Let's Be Candid. So I wanted to make this video on why is it so hard to leave an abusive relationship? Um, I'm speaking on like my experiences of why it was extremely hard. Actually, sometimes I didn't even leave like the other person had left me because I just was not strong enough to walk away even though I knew the relationship was very toxic. Um, and I was very unhappy in my relationship. So I just wanted to run down a few things of why people may not leave out of abusive relationship, um, just based on my, my personal experiences. And maybe you can relate as well. Maybe you have, you know, your own reasons why you have stayed in an abusive relationship and you may want to, you know, share your experiences um, in the comments below if if you choose to. All right. So for me, um, when it comes to like, why is it so hard for people to leave? Now, I've been on both ends where we both have been abusive to each other. And then some relationships where I was um, dominantly um, aggressive with my partners, ab abusive with my partners. And it was very difficult. Um, I remember one time when I was in a very verbal abusive relationship and mentally abusive, and it was very difficult for me to just leave. Now, when I met this person, I was very in like a high bliss state. Um, I was very happy with myself. I was loving myself. And apparently something inside of me is in a, on an unconscious level was not loving myself or, you know, didn't respect myself to the level that I consciously thought, or I would never had attracted someone to me, um, that behaved in that way because we only attract, you know, uh, what we are. Like we become in sync with people through our own personal you know, vibration. So whatever we are vibing, uh, whatever frequency we are on, um, 98% is most likely in your subconscious mind, your unconscious behavior. We're going to attract a person to show us what it is that we are feeling. So, um, so what, I, so what I wanted to speak about was why is it so hard? So for myself, like I said, when I was like in a very verbal and mental abusive relationship, it was very difficult for me to just walk away because one, I thought that I could change them. Okay. I felt that if I continue to be in a positive mind state, if I continue to um, support them in their endeavors, if I continue to uh, just love them the best way that I knew how that they would change their behaviors, that they would begin to act in a way that I was just hoping for them to start acting. And that was, that wasn't the case. Okay. Um, so that's one, one reason that the person may f truly genuinely feel that they could change the person with time. Okay. Another reason why, um, it could be hard for people to leave. One of the reasons why it was hard for me to leave, out of my certain relationships was because I wanted to build an ideal, perfect relationship. I wanted to make it work. I wanted to not have to start over. So I wanted to, whatever I had to do, I wanted to just stick with it. And that's another reason why, uh, why people may stay. They may feel like they need to be like a rod or dive. Like, all right, whatever, man. Like, let's, let's do it. Yeah, we fight. You know, we may cuss each other out. Um, I know it's unhealthy. You know, we may both be very, you know, probably depressed and upset in this relationship. But it's all good because we're going to make this work no matter what. Like, we're going to stick together. Like, we're going to be rod or die uh, with one another. And so that's how I felt in one of my relationships. Like, man, look, I don't care. I know that it's very uh, difficult and stuff like that. I know with one person, I actually told them like, look, it's going to, it's going to be worse at first and then it's going to get better. And I actually believe that. Like I really did, you know, I'm like, okay, we're going to go through all the, the bullshit and all the turmoil first in the beginning. And then we can live happily ever after. Like once we work past and work through all of the, um, the, just the headaches and, and just the, Ah, and the aggression in the relationship, you know, I'm just like, God damn it. 
we gonna make this work, okay? We gonna make this work. So that's another reason why people may, um, you know, stay in a relationship is because they may feel that, like how I felt, like, all right, cool. I'm not starting over because that's whole dating process and starting fresh is just too much, okay? So I'd rather it be too much in this relationship, but at least I already have one, okay? At least I'm already in one. All right, so another reason why it was hard for me to leave, maybe you can relate as well, was because I felt that I probably wouldn't find another person who uh, probably looked as good. Um, it, it was superficial reasons, if I'd be completely honest, okay? Um, that I may not find somebody who was just so fine as my partner. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, okay, that's like so not a good reason <laughs> to stay, but no judgment, no judgment. But that's how I felt during those times, okay? I felt like, well, damn, I probably ain't gonna never find nobody who this fine, but damn, man, they so fine though. Fuck, I'm just gonna stick with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. <laughs> they fine, man, so I'm just gonna stay. That was one of my reasons, okay, why it was hard for me to leave, all right? Um, let's see, uh, another reason, um, was that also too, from my understanding with relationships and to me, it appeared that it is normal for people to have arguments that is normal for people to, you know, getting to, you know, even fight sometimes. It's normal for, you know, your partner to just get on your fucking nerves, you know? It's normal for you to sometimes be really unhappy. Um, it's normal for uh, a relationship to, you know, have like just a ton of issues and a ton of problems because that's what relationships are. And so for me, I kind of had that mentality. Well, well, I guess we on the right track. I guess this is what a relationship is. I mean, it's basically doomsday for as long as we choose to continue on with this relationship. So I felt that it was actually, um, normal to, uh, do, uh, certain things and normal for certain aspects to, you know, happen in the relationship. And so, um, also another thing for me of why it was hard for me to, um, leave out the relationship was that I, it was, I felt very weak minded. Okay. I felt, felt very weak minded to just up and just go. And like a part of me felt like I deserved it. And so that's why it, it was hard for me to leave. Like I felt as though, the things that were happening to me was a part of my karma for whatever it could have been karma from past life or it could have been my karma from just relationships that I was in previously um, that I had to deal with and that this is maybe just a, a, kar a karmic uh, relationship and I just have to, you know, go through this process so that I can just wipe this slate clean and be done with it, okay? Like, I don't have to deal with this shit no more because I'm dealing with it now. And so I felt that, you know what, fine. Maybe this is just my karma, okay? <laughs> and let me just be in it and stay in it, you know, until I feel like it's complete or whatever the case may be. But I was just too weak-minded to leave regardless. And I don't feel like that's uh, appropriate, you know, because just to stay in something so unhealthy and so toxic is, is not it's not honorable for yourself. It's not honorable for that person. And it's just, it will not serve you in a really great way. Maybe after, you know, then you can like look back and um, see and learn <laughs> the lesson. So you probably won't have to repeat it again, but that was something really big for me as well. Like I felt like I deserved to be in an unhealthy relationship. I felt like I didn't deserve to be in a really happy and, you know, fulfilling and satisfied relationship. So, um, so that's, that's one of the things that was hard for me to leave. And another reason why people may stay too, um, some people, it may be like a really strong soul tie. Okay. Uh, 
And that can be really, really difficult when you have like a soul tie with somebody. Um, not everybody who you really deal with create, creates a soul tie, but you know, especially like your really strong like soulmates and or maybe like your twin flame that may come and stuff like that will have such a strong tie on you that even if you do leave, you're consistently like hardcore, like everything in your being is just focused on them and like it's just so hard for you to just walk away it's so hard for you to just leave or if they call you out the blue y'all haven't spoken in weeks or maybe months like the world just stops and, and like you literally just fall right back into the cycle again um that was one of I had a relationship like that where the soul tie was extremely strong like extremely strong like it kept me in a depression for months and sometimes like I went through for a whole year and then it would break up in certain months and stuff like that then I would stop then I would get back in a depression then I would stop and then I'll get back in a depression because of how strong it was and I did not know how to actually um sever the soul tie so I just wanted to make that this video real quick um speaking about why it may be you know difficult um I have heard from other people Unfortunately, I didn't have to deal with that, that some people may be afraid to leave because they may feel that um, it may just be dangerous, that the other person may do harm, you know, to them if they do leave. Fortunately, I did not have to deal with that. I did not express that, you know, to my partner. So they didn't express that to me. Of course, we probably cussed each other out, you know, um, but that part aspect wasn't or you know some people may have uh maybe a family together and that may be difficult maybe people may have children together as well um but that that wasn't my that wasn't my case but i i've heard i have heard it from other people but yeah so that's just some reasons why some people may leave um it's not as easy as it is just to say you know just leave them you know i mean that's the same thing of a whole bunch of stuff, you know, it's like they say it's easier said than done. And that is very true, especially when the emotions are there. Um, it can be extremely challenging to walk away from that type of relationship. And I tell, and I be, I told my ex before, like, you gave me the greatest gift when you walked out my life. You gave me a really, you gave me grace, you know when you decided to leave because I was not strong enough to leave. Like by you leaving had allowed me to start finding myself again, to start knowing myself again, to start loving myself again and getting myself back on track to where I needed to be. Uh, maybe I never fell off the track. Maybe that is the track that I needed to be on to get me to this point now. Uh, but yeah, so that's some reasons why people stay in really unhealthy relationships, stay in abusive relationships, stay in toxic relationships because of the reasons that I just stated. And I'm sure there are several other, you know, reasons as well. And like I said before, if you want to share, definitely drop them in the comments. But I definitely appreciate every single one of you who have been watching my videos along this journey of me speaking about lesbian domestic violence from the perspective of the actual aggressor. And like I said, you know, I I do um, support people. Um, and you, if you want to see me, if you and I vibe, definitely you can just contact me through text or through call. Um, and we can get, like, I can give you a complimentary session with myself. Uh, you can hit me up at 248-7-Tania-B. That's 248-7-Tania-B. And let's let's get this stuff started, y'all. Uh, definitely hit that like button if you like it. <laughs> definitely subscribe if you like. All right, guys. Peace.